you guys all want to improve on keyboard and mouse, and I get it. I've been through the struggle of having to get destroyed in every game because I didn't know what creative maps to use and I had no routine when I was improving. So to help make your transition easier, I'm going to be showing you the best creative maps for beginner keyboard and mouse players. For the first map, we have the Raider 464 Edit Practice Map. Throughout this map, it has several different edit courses ranging from low, medium, and all the way up to intermediate difficulty. It is a really good looking map and has any kind of editing practice you could be looking for. In the background of this video, you can see me playing the map and going through some of the different edit courses that this amazing map has to offer. If you're looking to improve your editing, look no further than this map, because as a beginner player, this has everything that you could be looking for and if you specifically want to practice your editing speed, what you should do is try and edit the tile slowly in the beginning so that you get used to the way that you need to move your mouse in order to perform the edit. Now that we've checked out this map, let's get right into the next one. The second map we have here is the Scavox Aim Training Map. In this map, it provides you with a wall of weapons in several different aim scenarios to choose from. These range from Tile Frenzy to the Mongol Classic, and this means that you have a whole range of different aim training options available to you. For example, once you enter the Tile Frenzy section of this map, you're presented with three different options of ranges that you want to choose from. You have long range, medium range, and short range. Once you shoot either the short, medium, or long range options, you will be brought into a map where your only objective is to shoot the targets. This is a lot better than Kovacs because this uses your in-game sensitivity, leading to more consistent improvement. If you were to use Kovacs, that is totally fine, but you need to convert your Fortnite sensitivity into Kovacs, which is not the easiest thing in the world. The last thing you want to do is improve on a sensitivity that you're not currently using in Fortnite. To leave any section of this map, all you need to do is emote and it will bring you right back to the hub of this map so that you can go ahead and choose any of the other aim training sections of the map that you want. And I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the map code in the description for you guys to try out this great map for yourself and try out all the different sections that this map has for improvement. The third map we have is CXM Zone Wars map. This map is best played in a 1v1 style with a friend, though you can play with multiple people. You are given limited building materials and set weapons every round. Your objective is to just eliminate your friend and that's it. It's a simple zone wars map that allows you to improve in a non-sweaty environment while having fun. The map is basic but really does help you improve. This is actually the map that I used to improve and I want you guys to know about this map as well. You start in the sky and fly down and the only thing you need to do is eliminate your friend. In this map you're given traps, a launch pad, and there's actually a secret rift located in one of the chests. It gives you good tracking practice for if your friend decides to use one of them and it helps you ease your way into improving on keyboard and mouse without joining those sweaty creative fill lobbies or public matches and getting destroyed. This is a great way to improve at all aspects of the game while taking your time and having fun. This was definitely my favorite way to improve on keyboard and mouse and as always I will have all the map codes located in the description so that you don't need to waste any time improving on keyboard and mouse. All of these maps are amazing for improving on keyboard and mouse and I really really want to hear how your progression goes. If you're currently switching to keyboard and mouse, please let me know how your progression is going down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.